Hello, this is Alex from Lincoln Park Library, and today's How To Tuesday is how to create a paperback book snowman, which you can see on the right is the one that I made right here. So to start off, materials that you need include a paperback book, either a craft knife or X-Acto knife or scissors can be used as well. You need glue, but hot glue is best, but you can use, you know, a glue stick or Elmer's glue or something like that too. You'll also need buttons, ribbon or fabric for the scarf of the snowman, and then you'll need some sort of materials for the hat, arms, you know, the, the smile, carrot nose, things like that. You can use paper, cardstock, foam, um, you can use actual twigs for the arms. If you ha have any kind of small hats or, you know, fake carrots or anything like that, you can use those as well. Pretty much anything that you have at home, you can use. So for step one, you want to rip the front and back covers off of the book. And then using one of those covers, you're going to go to the, the plain side, so the inside, and you're going to trace an outline of half a snowman on one of the covers. So this could be, you know, a three-tiered snowman. I've seen people also do just like a two-tiered snowman. However many levels that you want to do, that's up to you. But I did a, th a classic three-tiered snowman. So you can see the, you know, the head and then the body is two. Then for step two, you're going to cut out that outline and you're going to place it on the top of your book. As you can see here, I lined up this side with the spine of the book. And then as you're, you're going to use this as your guide. So as you place that there, you cut around this outline and it helps you keep the snowman shape as you're cutting around your book. So what you need to do is cut around that be it with craft knife or exacto knife or scissors, anything like that works. And you want to work your way through the entirety of the book. So you can see here, I went through the entire book. So this is the longest part. It can be kind of tedious. Uh, the thinner the book is, the less time it will take you to cut through. So that's something to keep in mind when you're choosing whatever book you want to use for the snowman. Step three is kind of like the cleanup phase. So you can see that I have some frayed edges over here. So what I did, I took a pair of scissors and I just tried to trim to the best of my ability, kind of just like the loose raggedy edges. I just tried to clean it up a little bit. Once you put everything on it, you won't be able to notice as much that there's, you know, a couple of pieces sticking out or it's a little jagged or uneven. You won't really be able to notice, but I just tried to clean it up a little bit just so that it would look better. For step four, this is when you start to glue everything together. So you'll want to glue the front and back pages together as well as any gaps. So any large gaps that you see, you're just going to put a line of glue far back toward the spine and then just give it like a little bit of a press together. Um, make sure that you kind of bend the pages as you're putting them together and that'll help give it a more even shape as it's being all put together. You'll also want to glue on your button eyes and this is when you'll begin decorating. So I had had plastic snowman arms and a nose from um, a previous kit project done with kids about a month ago. So I had used those elements on here, but you could use, you know, as I said before, paper, foam, you could use real sticks would be really cute for arms. And then you just put, you know, a dot of glue and then put it in between two pages. Anything that you have at home, you can use. You don't even have to use buttons for eyes. If you don't want to do that, you can just cut out eyes. You can use a hole puncher and punch, um, you know, black paper to get a perfect circle. You could do that as well. So I also made the hat myself. So what I did, I cut a circle that fit the top of the snowman's head. And then the next part that I did, I cut a rectangle and I folded it into a tube. And you can either tape or glue the ends together. I think I did both uh, just to make sure it was held together tightly. 
and then I glued the tube, as you can see here, onto the circle. So it, it was, you know, in the inner circle part. Then what I did, I traced the top of the tube and I cut out a circle that for the most part uh, fit the top. And then I glued that circle on top of the tube. I added a little bit of, you know, a glitter ribbon around the bottom and then I had a hat. So it, you know, it wasn't too difficult. It doesn't have to be perfect either. You can always cover it with like ribbon or buttons or some kind of other decorations if you wanted to hide any seams or anything like that too. For step six, so like I mentioned before, I actually used a hole puncher with uh, cardstock paper to cut out perfect circles. So I used those circles that I punched out for the coal mouth. And then, like I said before, I had elements from another uh, another kit, so they were actual plastic um, carrot noses and arms, and I used those as well. You could also use ribbon or fabric for a scarf, so I used two different kinds of ribbon that I glued the glittery one on top of the red ribbon just so that it matched the hat and kind of brought it all together, and I put a little um, button right here in the middle. So you can decorate the hat, you can give him, you know, an outfit if you want. I've seen some people cut the top of a sock off and put it on the body so that it looked like a vest. So you can use anything that you have on hand at home. You can also Google other examples that people have done because some people have just done a two-tier snowman. So imagine if you didn't have the head here and then you have a shorter kind of wider snowman as opposed to the three-tiered which is much longer. If any children want to do this, I suggest an adult cut out the paperback book for them just because especially, you know, you don't want them to really use an X-Acto knife or a craft knife can be really dangerous. Um, even the scissors can be a little tricky. So I think an adult should definitely help them with that part. But I think the decorating, you know, they can totally handle on their own. Maybe some help if they're using a hot glue gun, but also, like I said before, you can also use glue sticks or wet glue. It just takes a little bit longer to dry. I hope you enjoyed this craft, and again, I would love to see any. You can come in and show me in our satellite location, or feel free to send me pictures. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.